Let's make giant crispy chicken sandwiches for my cookbook, Indulge Your Needs at Home. Don't wear white when you eat these. We have the OG version from the cookbook with a pickled garlic Tabasco mayo. And then we have a version that I also have in the book where you can use the glaze from my sweet and spicy Korean fried chicken on this giant crispy chicken sandwich. So you kind of can make a Korean style and American style. So let's dig in. So these actually use a whole chicken leg. So a drumstick attached to a thigh. Let's take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. So crunchy. Let's do another bite. Mmm. It's all over my face, but whatever. The pickled garlic Tabasco mayo. So in the cookbook, I use Tabasco because I feel like everyone has Tabasco, but you can use any cayenne based sauce. So I actually used Crystal, which is from Louisiana and is my favorite cayenne based hot sauce and when you combine that with the really acidic punch of the pickled garlic then a s the smoky flavor of the smoked paprika it's like a perfect sauce for this super seasoned pickle brined chicken mm. it's so tender so juicy brining in the pickle juice really tenderizes the meat while also flavoring it there's already salt and other seasonings in the pickle brine Mm. And it's also super juicy since it gets marinated in buttermilk after it's done with the pickle brine. So now we have our Korean sweet and spicy chicken version. And I did this with some ranch dressing, which is inspired by this version of a chicken sandwich from Fuku, which is David Chang's fried chicken chain. So let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, it's so good. And the chicken, you can hear it, even though it has all that glaze on it. Mmm, it's so crispy. A reason for that is that we hit it with the glaze right when it got out of the fryer. So while it's still hot, the glaze kind of almost like bonds with the crispy chicken skin. Mmm, mmm. Look at those juices. So good, so satisfying. There's no reason to be waiting in line for some chicken sandwiches when you can just make it at home. If you want it to be spicier, you can definitely throw it into like a Nashville hot chicken style oil. If you want to change up the flavors, you can use, I have in my cookbook, you can make like a Sichuan chili crisp aioli. You can go wild with your imagination once you know how to make the base chicken sandwich. And with the homemade garlic dill pickles, oh, perfect little bit of acidity. And the cabbage is there to add, just add a little bit of freshness and also some crunch. Um, you can honestly remove if you want to, but I do like having it in there. It's the other end. If you make this, definitely tag me and try out all the other chicken recipes in my cookbook. And make sure to hit like and subscribe for more. See ya!